About two months ago, I released my first impressions of the Varla Eagle One Pro in the blue color scheme. In that video, one of my main complaints with the scooter was that it came with mechanical brakes rather than hydraulic brakes. Then, like a week later, with no heads up, Varla released a red version of the Eagle One Pro that came with hydraulic brakes and also better matched the color scheme of the original Eagle One. I really wanted to try the red model to see if the hydraulic brakes were the improvement I was hoping for. Lucky for me, Varla reached out and offered to send out their red model, so now I have the chance to see how it feels compared to the original blue model I tested. The other big thing I wanted to test is if this model has the same high speed front wheel vibration that my original unit had. I still haven't put my finger on what causes the vibration, but if it doesn't occur on this red model, then that would tell me that it was an issue with the specific original unit I received and not the general design of the scooter. I got some interesting results in the speed test, so be sure to check out that part of the video, especially if you're considering buying the scooter. So I recorded my very first ride out on the new Eagle One Pro, and this is my live reaction to how the scooter felt. I am a bit rambly without a script, but I do cover my thoughts on the hydraulic brakes and test the high speed stability of the scooter, so relax and enjoy my first ride out on the new Varla Eagle One Pro in red. Also, it was quite windy out on my ride, so if it does get bad for you, you can always turn the volume down a bit and turn on subtitles. So obviously the big difference on this one is the hydraulic brakes, and so far they feel great. I mean, they're just zoom hydraulic brakes, so they're, they're a known quantity. They're, they're brakes that I've dealt with before on, uh, on my regular Eagle One and also on other products that I've tried. So, um, the, the big thing though is that it wasn't so much that the that the blue version, that the mechanical brake version, had super poor braking. I mean, as far as mechanical brakes go, they they were they were better than most mechanical brakes I use, honestly. But there's just something about hydraulic brakes that feel significantly better just the triggers and it, they require so much less adjusting than cable driven brakes. Having to tweak with the cable and stuff uh, is a huge pain. And as the pads wear down, I mean, it's a huge pain to keep them adjusted properly. So like hydraulic brakes, much less day-to-day -day maintenance and just the way the the levers feel, I mean, I love the feel of hydraulic levers. I mean, uh, like mechanical levers, you have to pull that cable and sometimes in order to adjust them so that they don't rub, like it makes the levers feel much too mushy and you have to really like crank on the levers to brake properly. And these, you just, you have so much like little control and I know I've, I've read comments and seen people say that like, oh, hydraulic brakes, like I barely touch them, like, and they brake hard and they're overly aggressive. But I honestly think they just, it just takes a little getting used to, to get to feel comfortable with them. The other thing is, is that I feel that hydraulic brakes have much, much better single brake braking power. Like it's one thing to like lock up it's one thing to lock up mechanical brakes. Like if you're locking up the front and the rear, then obviously it's going to come to a stop fairly quickly. What I like is being able to just use the rear brake as my primary form of braking. Like for speed adjustments and even for coming to a stop. Like unless I need to completely lock up and like stop suddenly, I don't think there's any reason to be like having to rely on both brakes to come to a stop. And I don't know if this is just like a mountain biking habit since you want to primarily brake with your rear brake when you're going downhill so you don't go over the bars, but it just feels way more comfortable to me to be able to just hit a single brake to be able to adjust my speed. So. Overall, big fan of the hydraulic brakes and just a fan of hydraulic brakes in general. So, I mean, I was always going to prefer this over the mechanical brake version. That wasn't really a question in my mind at all. I mean, speed-wise,
guys, it's the same scooter. If you haven't seen my review of the blue version, go check it out because I imagine mostly everything is going to apply. My, the big question in my head is if this is going to have the same kind of vibrations at high speeds that the blue one has. So at speeds over 40, I started to get really bad front like suspension bounce and wobble. So uh, once this turns green, I'll open it up and just see how it feels over 40 miles an hour. She feels really good. Oh, weird. I mean, it hit a little bit of a bump there, but like, it actually feels really good. I'm not getting any, any wobbles at all. Oh, weird. So I wonder if just it was that particular unit that I got. This feels so smooth. This is like night and day difference, honestly. So yeah, I mean, I received this model maybe a, what, has it been a month? maybe five, six weeks after I received the original model. I can't imagine that they've done anything different to it in that time. So maybe there's just something wrong with my model. Interesting. I received, I received the blue model so early that, um, I received the blue model so early that I wonder if, or, or rather, I, Sorry, what I want to say is I received the, the blue model so early that I couldn't really like confirm whether or not that was an issue with all of the models because no one else had one. This will be the real test because I got some downhill now. amazing I can't believe that that the blue one felt so shaky man I feel totally comfortable on this one the blue one honestly really sketched me out I would just hover around like 35 to 37 because I didn't want to like I didn't want to risk getting those wobbles. It feels so good. It's like speedy and stable and solid. And because of how stiff the like steering is, I'm not getting any speed wobble. And this almost makes me feel bad about this almost makes me feel bad about my review because of how much better this version feels. Like, I almost feel like my original review is is wrong. Unless, yeah, I don't know if they switched something or what, but it actually feels incredible. This honestly feels so good and it's so stable that I could easily see this becoming my my favorite or my like go-to scooter for high-speed rides. I always like to try and long-term review the Barlow products just because I always like them and I always recommend them. Barlow was one of the earliest companies to reach out and 
uh, offer to send me a product and support the channel and stuff. And so, I obviously have a fondness for them for that reason. But also, their products are good. And I'm not just saying that, you know. I, uh, I actually find myself riding the Pegasus now more than the Mantis 8. And I know I've... Mantis 8 was my actual uh, scooter of the year for last year. And I honestly wish I could change it to the Pegasus because I ride the Pegasus way more now. The solid tires are, I think, the biggest draw. And it was cool to see how they like kind of listened to feedback and made the, the, the decision to go with solid tires and that's made all the difference like not having to worry about flats and that kind of stuff is, is you know a game changer for those mid power scooters like that but yeah it feels so solid there's no stem play there's no wobble feels decent over the bumps. I do think the suspension is a little reboundy. A little off-roading tires really aren't equipped for it, but it's good to get an idea. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little chunky and reboundy for me. That was probably like, other than the brakes and the high speed wobble, uh, which are fixed with this model, other than that, the biggest disappointment in my review was how chunky and bouncy the suspension feels. So I will definitely be putting out like a full review because my my blue review, quote unquote, wasn't a review. It was the first impressions. And so I will put out a review that includes both models in it and kind of my revised thoughts about um, the high speed wobble and the brakes and that kind of stuff. So just to wrap up, the red model felt so much better to ride than the first model I received. I felt so lukewarm towards this scooter after my first impressions video, but now I'm excited to go out and ride this and give it a legit long-term review. Improved braking and lack of high-speed vibration makes it so much easier to recommend now. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated as I test this and be sure to look forward to my full review in the future. Get subscribed to see those videos when they come out and I will see you in the next one.